Being a good role model, that is like the number one job um, for parents. And we tell this from you know day one, um, you really want to make sure you know the kids are seeing you from sun up to sundown. They're watching what you're doing. They're picking up on your cues, um, and it's really the number one uh, thing parents can do. It sets up you know healthy lifestyles. You know, how you react to stress, your whole outlook on life can, can really be picked up from what the parents um, are doing. One of the earliest things again um, that parents have an influence on is, is how kids eat. Um, obviously, as parents, you control what's in the house, so the kids aren't going to be eating the junk food if it's not available. And if instead you have you know bananas cut up, you have fruit cut up, they see you um, eating the healthy foods themselves because that's what they're imitating. Those are, are important uh, behaviors. You know how you cook your food: is it fried? Is it broiled? Is it grilled? Actions speak louder than words, you know, so you can't be telling your child no junk food but you're chowing down on some potato chips. Be actively doing what you want your, your children to do. Do you ban all junk food from your life? No, I think that's a little unreasonable. You can't go to extremes. You have to have, because then again, the kids are going to be like thinking they're missing out. You know, their friends have gone here and they've never been there. So you, then they're really going to want it more. So it's okay to have it occasionally. You shouldn't use food as a reward. Better a reward would be extra time with mom or dad, you know, something special, you know, younger kids again, a trip to the library, an extra book to read at night, or something along those kind of behavioral things. So food is not really supposed to be um, a reward. I think the key thing, again, with food, of course, is at the grocery store. Now, it's always tough to bring the kids to the grocery store, because you know there's a lot of temptations there. They always have all that junk food right, right as you're checking out. Have a shopping list ahead of time, so you're not just picking random things off. Um, that would, that's a good opportunity to, to get the kids involved. Make sure that you're, you're eating as well as you can. So again, what's in the house, you've got to be minimizing the junk food, minimizing the temptations. Be taking a look at yourself at how you're doing because you may not really appreciate that, you know, how you're preparing meals is not real great. You know, maybe you're not eating as many fruits and veggies as you, as, as you should. Brainstorm ways that you can prepare what you're doing for yourself first and then you can carry that over to what you're doing for the rest of the family. And parents aren't perfect, no one's perfect, okay? So don't be afraid if you, you know, make a mistake. You can tell your child, you know, hey, mommy just, what I just did there was not a real good choice. Next time I sh I'll do this. And so don't be afraid to tell your child that you're, you know, you, you, you may have messed up a little bit and, you know, and rethink a better approach in the future. Do the best you can and pat yourself on the back when you make some good choices.